control. So that's what we'll do. Uh, uh, Stormy, you want to count? Dog, are you ready? Let me ask that first. Ready. Okay. Let's, let's go. Stormy, all right, all you everybody go get ready. Me. In three, two, one. Let's go. There we go. Okay, so... So, Stormcrow, right. you're uh, the world record holder in this game, and what's kind of like the key to doing this game as fast as you can? Yeah, so obviously, and you're seeing here, you want to slide as much as you can. And um, something you may not notice right away, you actually, when you're not sliding, you want to be jumping. Uh, you, I mean, it's a matter of frames. You move slightly faster when you're in the air. Um, but of course, you know, with any strat like that over the course of a run, think about ladder climbing with Ninja Gaiden or whatever, you're going to see, you know, big amounts of time um, accumulate as you as you stay in the air. So, um, so definitely be seeing a lot of that. Um, of course, this this game, as much as I love it, there's a whole lot of downtime. So we'll have plenty of things to talk about, like with these, uh, <laughs> um, you know, just standing around punching stuff. You know, practice is always a funny thing because I'm pretty sure I practiced this first stage about 100 times today and then I still screwed up the first time we do it. You know, go figure, getting the live jitters out, if you will. Oh, yeah. But no, this this should be a great race. Um, fantastic game. And, and surprisingly, you can get pretty deep with the tech. And I mean, there's definitely stuff out there that I, I think there's room for this game to grow considerably with tech as well. Especially when you got Mad Men like Zallard and I know Easy Scape. I think, does he have a new task for this coming out? Is that right? I think so. Uh, in fact, it might already be done. I don't know. We'd have to, he might be watching right now. So, geez, I'm about to die here. In fact, you know what we're going to do? Hopefully, you're getting some EME audio right now. We might have had a little hiccup there in the uh, stream. So, I'm going to take a quick death here. Are okay. you getting it on the stream? Are you in the uh, game audio through? Interesting. Hmm. Okay. E Sorry, easy games, not easy escape. Uh, well, we're going to try and figure this out. I will try so to do games. some. some... Yeah, no problem. If you take uh, my stream audio, you should be getting it all. But uh, if you're not, that's kind of weird. I don't know what I can do. So for anyone uh, not familiar with, you know, kind of the story, and this this is a, a pretty faithful port for the most part of the arcade version. But uh, Rick is our hero here. Um, him and his uh, lady friend, Jennifer, uh, go off to West Mansion. Um, and they stumble upon this terror mask thing. Um, and uh, it, it's it's basically alive. So um, Jennifer's been captured and Rick's gone crazy. Is that actually the name of it? West Mansion? Mm-hmm. Dr. I, West. <laughs> had no idea. Is that in the, where is that find? Where do you find that info? I've always wondered um, about that. I, well, I, I definitely did some brushing up on Wikipedia, so we know that that's nice. always accurate. Oh, my God. So. Oh no, a lot taking a death. I'm playing with OBS settings. I gotta, I'll be trying to pay a little more attention. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Okay, cool. Still plenty I'm of time on. to catch up. So uh, over here on dog side, we've uh, we've got, I believe this is the first instance instance of the shotgun, which it does kind of give you some kickback, a little recoil. Um, so you want to use it sparingly, but at the uh, at the end here. You can do um, a quick kill on the boss, um, which without the shotgun is damn near impossible. Um, he he's really really good at evading. Even if you slide at him, he'll uh, he'll get you. So one slide and all eight shots, and he did. Is there any really time to save on this stage? I've kind of wondered if there's something more we could do. It seems like we've got it pretty well figured out as far as the speedrun goes from the shotgun stage. Yeah, I I mean, you know, it's been a while. I haven't looked at the TAS in a while, so I don't know if... Uh, I think the TAS does it slightly different, so there might be a tiny bit of time saved there, but from what I remember, it, it didn't seem, uh, you know, like it was worth exploring for considering how difficult it was. 
Well, once again, we got that new task to look forward to, so hopefully lots of fun things. The task shoots first, then slides, says Easy Games. Got it. Okay, nice. I am taking some really bad deaths. That's a game over. Let's, uh, you know, can solve that really easy. The nice thing about this game, as far as, like, uh, speedrunning goes, is it's a bit forgiving. It does give you continues per stage, so where you start just back at the beginning of a stage instead of, you know, beginning of the game or anything like that. Ooh, we, we got game audio. Yay. Yay! Everybody in chat, go crazy. Yeah, that yeah, that is a nice thing. Uh, coming up here to the spooky mirrors. Anyone, uh, I, I highly suggest you check out Zallard's run just so you can see him dance with the music. I, I do it in uh, out of respect for him every time I'm here. Look, Dog's doing a little dancing. You have to. I think that's just like the, uh, <laughs> that's like comes with the speed run now. You have to dance. In fact, the dancing on the task is even more insane to say the least. But uh... And the, that song too. I gotta love it. Um, the only time this smushy faced baby in the game is here, coming up here on Lap Mackey's screen. <laughs> Somebody in my chat always goes crazy whenever they see it. It's such a cool looking enemy. I'm like, why did they only use it once? I've always been surprised about that. Like, uh, I wasn't even supposed to work today. <laughs> Somebody just called me in. All right, hey, what so made dog, you pick up? Oh, good. Real quick. So dog's coming up on the, uh, I don't even know what the hell you call this boss, but there's a really tight window. You can get a quick kill. Um, basically, if you don't have any stops at all, you're able to grab the um, um, hatchet quick, not hatchet, whatever, uh, cleaver quickly. Um, you can kind of get the boss stuck on the right side. Um, so where he doesn't go uh, right to left. Huge, huge time save, but uh, quite tricky. You're, you're, you're going to soon see one of the uh, first regional differences between uh, the TurboGrafx-16 and PC Engine version. Uh, Dog's version is, I guess you could say it's censored, would be the best way to put it. But, but uh, in, in this version... You'll see cross floating like candlesticks. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, the first time I played this, I, I was like, "Did I break it?" Because <laughs> yeah, I always played on the on the North American version. It definitely yeah. looks different. You just stand there for a while. The organ makes a weird noise, and then you move on. That making his way through should be coming up on the uh, spooky heads. Now, dog here. This is there's not a lot of RNG in this game, um, but this is one section where you do see a little RNG with the chairs there. Also, how the um, the enemies in this next room um, jump, which actually in this section I don't think it's actually RNG. I think it's more um, movement based, but it's it's hard enough you can't really control it. Um, but yeah, this this is probably the hardest level in the game. Taking even one hit can uh, can basically rip a run. Um, you know, if you're trying to get a PB. So, gotta pray for good chairs. Yeah, we got. And I will be I'll be sitting through the longest cutscene ever. <laughs> but hey, we get to see some. Uh... Oh yeah, I forgot we. We missed the floating ups. Are they upside down crosses or regular crosses? It's it. I tough to tell. It looks upside down to me, but then on the wall, you see that on the wallpaper, there's like regular crosses. So I yeah, guess we couldn't would, take that in the states at the time. <laughs> that would have been a lot of work flipping all that wallpaper upside down. You know. So according to the Wikipedia, this was one of the first games that actually ran with like a parental advisory on the box. Yeah, it says. Um, what does it say? Not recommended for children or or sissies or something like yeah. that. <laughs> Folks, you can't take. I wanted to say exactly. Yeah, you're right. The cross boss is upside down. Yeah, um, yeah. And easy easy games is saying there's some some other RNG. Um, and yeah, you'll you'll notice it. But I feel like the chairs in a in a run is is the you know for for a human runner is the main um, main thing you have to worry about. Intentional yep. death here, just because this this, this room is brutal. <laughs> this is yeah. one of the See, ones. see what I'm saying? Those chairs, man. 
You do get a little RNG in the room that Dog's in, um, but it's it's pretty controllable. All right, coming up, um, Dog Dog Developer is about to fight Jennifer, which you're thinking, what? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, so Jennifer, she, you know, I don't know what all those ghouls were, were doing, but uh, now she's turning into a giant monster. And I believe she says, kill me. Is that what she's supposed to say? I'm pretty sure. Got it. So there, um, there is a quick kill you can do for this. Um, it looks like Dog might get it. I think he got it, so... Um, it can be done a little faster than that, but basically the idea is you you don't want to let her go back into her um, her sequence where she'll she'll change back to herself and then go back into the monster form again. So if you can keep the hits coming, um, then then that will not happen. And obviously that's a huge huge time save. Um, Matt getting through that section nicely as well. That that section is actually a little tough. You can get some RNG with how those uh, enemies react with the Scarecrow boss as well. I tell you, it feels like it might be based on your positioning, but I can never quite tell if, it, if that's what's causing it or something else that I do that changes the, the pattern of those things. Yeah, maybe uh, Easy Games can tell us. I would be interested to know. So here we got Dog coming up to the, uh, the bubbles, as he was talking about. Bubs. Bubs. Little Bubs, rest in Good peace. Good luck, dog. Good luck. <laughs> um, so yeah, so it, it it takes forever to get through this first off. So really, it's just a waiting game. Then you get to the end, and you have to destroy this um, Contra-looking heart thing. Um, and depending on how nice the bubbles are to you, um, you can either rip the run, or you can lose a bunch of health. And then, of course, you're coming up to the final level in a moment right after this. So very, very... Uh, tense time in the run. So let's see how it goes. So the the way to do it fastest is to continually slide. So when um, now it, we are doing a race, so so dogs you know punching, which I definitely don't blame him. Uh, but if you slide, you can actually jump to the left, slide back to the right, and then as you jump to go back again, you can even kick it as you're jumping back to the left. So kick right while jumping to the left, slide again in this beautiful loop. Once you get that rhythm, it feels really cool. But of course, you still have the uh, fetuses to worry about, or whatever the hell those are. Good fight, dog. And I think because of like some of the RNG elements, it's one of those places mm -hmm. that you could uh, save time on in a run considerably if you get the right spawns and everything like that coming from it. Yeah, and then you and you still have to react even if you get the uh, the real good. Like I had in my PB, I had pretty good RNG. Mm -hmm. You still you're gonna have to kill at least one or two of those in the middle of it. Kind of no way around it. So dog coming up on the final level. These um, little fire guys that are wearing fire bras um, are uh, triggered just by you know location. Um, coming up on the final boss, so once again, safe safe way to do it, especially in a race, is just to uh, stand to the left or right um, and watch out for the grabs. You can actually slide into his hitbox, and if you time it just right, uh, you can save a considerable amount of time and stay inside of him. And if you notice, he is also being attacked by loaves of bread falling from the sky. So you want to Hopefully not get bad RNG on the loaves of bread. And I think this is the final cycle for Dog. We got Matt fighting against the heart. One more cycle, it looks like, for Dog. All right, GG, Matt. Ooh. Almost there. Dog took one... Just, just barely got it. And time ends when he starts shooting out balls of light. And time for dog. GG. GG, dog. And I think that's FPB. No way. Because I, because I got the the one cycle on Jennifer. Hey, oh, nice. I'm gonna check here. I'm gonna check here. I'm gonna see if it is. Everybody, give it up for doggy dog. Yeah.
Yeah, dog's pretty new runner. Uh, Matt's coming back to it. So always happy to see more splatter. It's a PB by three seconds. Nice. I had a 14, 14 Congrats, before. Man. It's a 14, awesome. 11 now. All right, let's give it up for <laughs> Matt. He's got four health, plenty of health. Good luck, let's see this. We're going we're gonna to try to get some slides in here. You got to. So watch out for that bread. Or as Emily likes to call him, watch out for the, uh, oh, uh, Oh my gosh, I'm totally, not the pebbles, the... Emily, what do you call it? I can't remember. <laughs> almonds, the almonds. You gotta watch almonds. out for the almonds. <laughs> okay, I can see almonds. Almonds, chocolate chips, or like other things you, we call them. Let's see. We love just, the bread. Yeah, I just think it's like a nice rye. You get some, <laughs> some fresh butter. <laughs> it seriously <laughs> makes me hungry every time. Totally, it really does. All right, Matt's down to one health. He's got a probably not going to go for any more slides here. Lame. <laughs> no. I mean, hey, if you want to. But no, I went. I got hit. <laughs> oh. It's all right. You got this. Fried tacos, coffee beans. I'm seeing that. There you hot go. Hot dogs. I don't know about I hot dogs. I'm in. Uh, I'm in the West Coast, so I, I haven't had dinner yet. All this is making me really hungry. Yeah, and we got daylight savings time too. This is hell of a time. This is all happening all at once. Okay, so a real quick regional difference. You noticed that there was a cross there. I forgot to mention that that um, in oh, the wow, uh, yeah. North American version, that's actually uh, I don't know what is it. Tombstone. It's a tombstone, I think. Yeah, it's a it's a tombstone. And obviously, the mask, one of the obvious ones. And the mask is not just a recolor, ah. they changed the shape of the mask as well. The details on it. <laughs> it's every so shallow bread. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, and oddly enough, what so in Splatterhouse 2, the masks are different as well. Isn't it in Splatterhouse 2? I, I feel like the mask is white in the US version. That's it, correct, yeah. The it's still the, the, white in the Japanese, but it looks uh, it looks different. It's almost it's almost like a samurai style or so I don't know. It's weird. It's a skull. It's been a while. All right, one health. We need some blesses. Give some blesses. Oh man, how did I miss that? Uh, we're gonna try this one more time. <laughs> you got it, Matt. Al Anonymous saying there is a uh, hack to change the sprite. Oh, I didn't know. That's pretty cool. So a couple other things too. Um, so first off, shout out to the Splatterhouse Discord. If anyone's interested in running any of the games, got a nice community. You can find that on the speedrun.com page. Uh, I believe it, it, at least on the forum for any of these games. Um, you can do, depending on your health, you can actually do some damage boosts. Um, some riskier than others in this section as well. But once again, because of the bubble stage, you're usually only going to have three or four health coming into this level. So right. you got to play it safe. Because even if you do the slides perfectly into the head here, there's a good chance you're going to take at least one hit from a from a nice, rich. I struggle to find moist the right position. Rye bread. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm always wondering where that positioning is where you don't get hit going in there. But because of a little bit of the RNG there, it's tough to tough to find. Yeah, um, the way Zallard was ex trying to explain it to me, I think the idea is basically once his head fully comes up, um, you can slide into him, and then it's really just a matter of timing, um, like when you start to do the 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 first punch or kick when when you're in there, is how you you know stop it from activating. From when I uh, when I was learning this game, I got my favorite piece of advice from Zalad on how to play this part, this boss specifically. And he said, just do what I do. <laughs> I'm like, oh, man, what am I supposed to do with that? Anywho, OK, here we go. We're coming up on time. And uh... but my, my right. timer is off, folks. Don't trust my timer, but we're going to take it anyway. <laughs> and time coming up when the spirits come out of his weird, creepy face. GG Lapmackie. GG. And GG so again, dog. 
apologies for some of the technical difficulties, but uh, Stormy, thanks so much for walking us through. This is it's a, if you haven't played this game before, play it. It's really fun casually. It's it's a little it's it won't take you forever to beat, but it can be a challenge. And the speed run I, of all the games I speed run, this is by far my favorite. It just the inputs feel so good when you do them properly. Uh, Stormy, I don't know if you could vouch for that, but it just feels really good oh, when yeah. you pull these things off. Yeah, it's a fantastic game. And it's a relatively easy learn. Half the game is auto scrollers. <laughs> yeah. Those are just, you know. <laughs> this is true. That, that's like a freebie. Half the game's free. So I'd yeah, say no, this, is, this would be an amazing 12 hour challenge game, like a sub 20 yes. on 12 hours. Oh, yeah. Totally just agree. The sweet spot. They're perfect. And well, like thanks. Matt said, too, it's great for just a casual playthrough, you know. Um, you can take your time and, and make it make your way through it with a little trial and error. It's really fun. And it's definitely one of the highlights on the TurboGrafx-16. If you're at all interested in TurboGrafx-16 stuff, we do have a Discord. Um, and it's, it's we talk about this. We talk about all TurboGrafx-16 speed runs and casuals and all that kind of stuff. So uh, thanks, uh, RGL, for having myself. I don't want to and, and dog and stormy and all like that. I really appreciate you putting on this event. And it's, uh, it's a lot of fun to watch all the games, all the spooky Halloween games. Uh, from all different uh, eras and genres and, and consoles. So it's really fun to watch. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for having me on, guys. Get out and vote. There you go. Dog, thanks, man. Thanks, everyone, for watching. And yeah, that's that was our, our little marathon here of uh, spooky games. Congrats on the PB, dude. <laughs>